Technique for solving really, really ugly math problems. And it's called multiplying through. Okay? So multiplying through is a trick, it's an algebraic trick, and it will help us to uh, clear out ugly fractions, ugly decimals, and it'll also help us clear out really large numbers. Okay, example one. Solve 3 eighths R equals one-third R plus ten. All right. Now, back in the day before we all had graphing calculators in our hands, we used to have to solve stuff like this without a calculator. So very early on, we learned that if we could just get rid of the fractions, it would be a lot easier to work with. So it turns out that I can use the multiplication property of equality and multiply both sides of this equation by a number, and I can get rid of my denominators. If I just can find a number that is common to both 8 and 3. Both 8 and 3. Give me a number. Um, 24. Good, I'm liking that. Okay. So, applying that simple property of multiplication, we're going to go ahead and we will multiply both sides of this equation by the number 24. Okay, that's called multiplying through. If we take 24 times 3 eighths, okay, 3 eighths are actually, the 8 will go into the 8 once, and the 8 will go into the 24 three times, and then we'll have 3 times 3 times r all over 1, which is 9r. You with me? Okay? So, Multiplying by 24 will turn the left side of this equation into just plain old 9r. All right, now let's see what happens over here. We're going to have to use the distributive property, and we're going to take 24 times 1 third r. Well, what's 1 third of 24? How many times 3 go into 24? Right. Okay. So this is going to turn out to be 8r plus, and then 24 times 10, is 240. Great. The original one and this one, these are equivalent equations. They're still describing the same equality. But this one doesn't have any fractions in it, so it's much easier to work with. Let's see, however, though, if this really, really is correct. Because if it's correct, even though I changed the equation, this answer should work in the original problem. All right. Well, let's see if it does. Okay, let's take 3 eighths times r, which we believe to be 240. And let's see, is that really equal to 1 third times 240? plus 10. All right, if we don't get uh, a true statement here, we'll know we've done something wrong. All right, let's see here. 8 goes into 8 once, 8 goes into 240, 30 times. So we're looking at 3 times 30 over 1, which is 90 over 1, which is 90. And over here, 3 goes into 3 once and into 240, 80 times. 80 times 1 is 80. And 80 plus 10 is also 90. So it checks. In this equation, you can see that we have 92 hundredths and we also have 4 tenths. 
So we're looking at hundredths and tenths. We need to find a number that both 100 and 10 will divide into, and that number is 100. And I'll just put some parentheses up here, and I will indicate that I'm multiplying both sides of the equation by 100. All right, 100 times 92 hundredths m is going to give me 92m. And then 100 times 2 is 200. And then 100 times m is 100m. And then 100 times uh, 4 tenths would be 40. Now we're going to look at a problem that has some really big coefficients and constants in it. And multiplying through can help us make this much more simple. All we need to do for this problem is find a number that will divide into 24,000, 9,000, 280,000, and 8,000. Each of these numbers is a multiple of a thousand. So therefore, a thousand will divide into each one evenly. So, we will multiply by one over a thousand the whole way through. And I'll put the parentheses up and we'll show you that we are going to multiply through this whole thing by one over a thousand. One over a thousand. If I multiply these two together by George, I'm going to get just plain old 24. Much nicer number to work with. Then over here, if I take 1 1,000th one of 9,000, I will get 9. And of course, then we still have the x there as well. This side of the equation, when we multiply by 1 1,000th, we will get 280 right here. And over here, we're going to get 8x. Eight, eight so multiplying through turns this into a much nicer equation. 